Merry Christmas, December 25th, 2020, Friday. As I said, I will bring you the Plastic Free Weekly News. This is Miguel Solari, and you can subscribe to continue this. This is my third week doing it, and I did not take into account when I started that Friday this year would be on Christmas. But I'm coming through, like I said I would, and so here it is. But thank, first I wanna thank everyone who's been supporting my Plastic Restore, shopping for me, and uh, I just wanna say thank you. I really appreciate it, and I'm um, doing what I can to improve the products and improve the service. Whatever I can do, you can reach out to me directly. I'm really small right now, and just my goal is just to uh, provide an alternative, you know. Uh, I, I'm not like, uh, you know, raising money or anything like that I'm, I'm just literally like doing what i love to do because from the bottom of my heart i care and uh this what i'm gonna provide here below is the news which is one of the things that i did for years just was bugging out on this stuff and i here we go it's it's kind of fun for me and sometimes when the things begin to connect it's kind of crazy and this is one of those weeks when things just start to connect so let's kick off right now first we got big oil evaded regulation and plastic pellets kept spilling of course, the links to, to all of these articles will be put below because I'm not going to go through all the details of this, but this is a harrowing article uh, on NPR this week about uh, an issue going back to the 90s where these pellets uh, can be found inside of highways, railroads, uh, at the plants in the ocean were just being spilled everywhere. And they found they did a study that they knew about where they were just like spilling this stuff all over the various environments and they just kept like circumventing the system and avoiding like responsibility. So you can check that out. Um, yes, so next up we have this one is crazy. 46 tons of lean cuisine meals recalled after complaints of plastic pieces though. This is a Nestle company and Nestle said that it's likely that it happened from a conveyor belt breaking and landing on mashed potatoes. Oh god, that's just like foul. It just Look at this, there you go. For any of y'all who eat that stuff, I don't eat that stuff, but if you do, there you go, enjoy your plastic bits of conveyor belts. Uh, moving on, uh, we got right here, what's next? Oh yes, so last week I posted an article about how the microplastics enter the human placenta. A study, an Italian study that found and they, they said that it mostly enters through the uh, to the gut through the mucous membrane in the gut through basically your intestinal system so in this article here it talks about nanoplastics altering the in intestinal microbiome and threatening the human health like this has been studied in animals like very profoundly and in all cases mostly all cases they have found it to harm their endocrine systems and, uh, and disrupt uh, many parts of their biology. So likewise, with humans, it's more than likely that it will do the same thing. So just keep in mind that with all the plastic that we're being uh, in our atmosphere, water, food, like we are likely ingesting that stuff. If it ended up in the, in the placenta of some humans, it likely could end up in, in our body, in, 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 in any of us, uh, because uh, we, we all, you know, we, we share a lot of the same resources and food that comes packaged in plastic i personally i don't touch it you know it's just no thank you uh so let's move on here we go and we got next we got next 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 oh this is from last week but camels are dying due to plastic pollution this is quite sad because it relates to uh animals like a camel and this article says it quite blank, blankly, bluntly that Camels in the desert, they, they anything that is not sand to them is possible food, so they just eat it. And they're finding like here this I think this is in the picture below here. Uh, yeah, this guy is describing the size of his hands. He's talking about that uh, they're finding pieces that are like the size of a basketball or a suitcase inside these camels. That's pretty sad. And uh, if you don't have compassion for that, I just really feel sorry for you as a human being because what if you ended up with like a big ulcer the size of a basketball made of plastic in your uh, in your gut anyway. So let's move on. An ulcer, by the way, is not what I meant, but like a gallstone made of plastic. Uh, this one's weird, but it's, uh, I'll tell you how it ties in. So I found it through plastic-free news stuff, but it's uh, this businessman 
gifts cow urine and seed balls on the daughter's wedding um, the daughter uh, uh, the wanted the wedding to be plastic free and, and you know and they did all the right stuff this is in India by the way India's, India's a little bit nutty um, using cloth banners and, and, and everything in banana leaves like in, in water and steel tumblers super awesome and then like like the dad like to make a point like he gives like <laughs> um, uh, cow urine to promote protection of cow and pack seed balls to spread awareness to conserve nature packed in jute bags I think that's a pretty gangster move by dad tell basically saying hey quit being smug and uh, yeah, I know plastic is bad but you know what so are the cows and the reason why this this article is interesting to me because it's because I lived in India for about six months and uh, I saw these you know free roaming cows that just roamed around and people often made jokes that they're like the garbage compactor so they, they felt like they could throw things out and the cows would just come eat it and what the cows were mostly eating were plastic bags and that's just horribly sad uh, yeah so um, I like this article and I think it's pretty gangster of the dad to like make that move moving on what we've got here bum, 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 bum. Highest levels of microplastics found in mollusks, new study says. Uh, so, you know, mollusks are a uh, species type of mussels, oysters, scallops, all of these uh, animals that like people often like to go out and, you know, drink their white wine and uh, eat and with the little oyster sauce and all that. The problem is that um, these uh, species, and by the way, like I thought everybody knew this, but because people, frankly, always ask me, like, hey, you want to get some oysters? I'm like, I don't eat that stuff. No, thank you. Like, why? I'm like, because it's super contaminated. These uh, uh, mollusks are, or you know, all of these species, they're, they're what's called here, I got it for you. It's a bivalve. So, a bivalve is a species, is a type of, um, uh, it's a bottom feeder, like a, it's a mollusk, basically. And they, like, eat, they filter, they're enough to be the filters of the ocean. So they filter everything, it goes through them, and, they, and then, then the, everything that they produce is, is supposed to be clean, but everything that's toxic gets trapped inside of them. So, of course, if you're eating that, you're basically poisoning yourself with plastic and other things. Now, um, I, me? No, I'm, no, I'm not going to eat that stuff, and I, and I haven't for a long time. Yes, it might be delicious, it might be full of zinc, and you know increase your potency or whatever but no i think uh, i think we're kind of looking at we're living in an era where we have to make better choices about not just our health but taking into consideration how our actions affect the environment and when it comes to um microplastic we've just basically like um unconsciously polluted the oceans to the point where now like it's kind of like nature saying okay here you go here eat your own mess so let's move on da, 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 da. what we got here so kuril kamkachatka trench in the pacific ocean is a trap for microplastics and of course the link here is below but basically is it any surprise that like all of the plastic sediments are gonna like flow and like get stuck in the deepest parts of the ocean i mean all right people love science and they love to wait for some marine biologist to like make the case for or against whatever you know to prove one's point but really if you use common sense you'd know that basically you know you see clearly that tossing your garbage out is uh and not taking into account where it might end up it likely affect environments like that's to me that's common sense but i guess to not, not to everyone so moving on da -da -da. what we got here Ah uh, yes, EU bans plastic waste from being shipped to developing countries. That's awesome. Um, the EU has always been a guest way ahead of the game, but basically, to stop shipping countries to poor, to shipping their plastic waste to poor countries like Indonesia and the uh, and uh, um, uh, Philippines, and basically because that's what's happened is that we've been like doing that for decades and those countries have ended up with like this horrible reputation of being like terrible uh, polluters of plastic when in fact oh, most of that plastic came from western countries so it's extremely messed up and so 
uh, the EU is, is really set on meeting this goal of the, they have a, the European Green New Deal and one of their goals for the European Green New Deal is to be completely emission free by the year 2050 and this pact uh, that was signed the other day is that by January 1st no more plastic exports will be sent to poor developing countries so that's super awesome and I am very excited to know that at least someone's doing the right thing or trying to so that's what I got for you this week and thank you tune back in next time and check out what I, my website check out my store and continue to have an awesome rest of 2020 enjoy as much as you can maybe someday we'll miss it that one crazy year when things went haywire thank you so much and i'll see you next time peace